Hey guys, fall is definitely in the air. Can you smell it? Can you see it? Today I wanted to bring you into my home and share with you how we decorate, different things we do to make the fall season fun and festive. So I wanted to bring you in our home to share with you some of the ways that we like to decorate. We like to keep it simple. We like to keep it fun. We have young children. So with fall and Halloween, we like to kind of incorporate both of them together um, throughout our home. So on our main floor, I keep it pretty much harvest and fall decor. And then in our second living room area, we do Halloween. So I will show you guys that as well. Um, and I also wanna share with you some of my favorite fall scents because I think that is one of the amazing things about fall is when you walk into a home and you just smell all of the wonderful scents of pumpkin and cinnamon and clove and citrus. It just smells amazing. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, and here is my kitchen table. So the runner that I have here is from Home Goods. Now these I had last year as well, so there's nothing new here. These pumpkins are amazing. I'm super excited to bring them back out this year. Um, I wasn't sure if I should go with a really large floral, you know, decor piece or kind of mix it up, and I'm glad I went with the pumpkins. These are from Kirkland's. They light up, and in the evening, they look simply amazing. So I will include some footage at the end of the video so you guys can go ahead and check it out. Um, I got one in orange. And then I also have one in white. This centerpiece I did get from Kirkland's. And looking at it now, it's something that you could really just make on your own. So if you're looking to make some cheap decor, you know, you just need one of these lanterns, which these are always on sale. And a great place that has them is five below. So you can grab one for $5. You might want to paint it. I think the ones that they have are white, which is perfect. But if there's a particular color, you can always paint it. Um, and then just different fall picks that you can get on clearance after you know Thanksgiving. You'll see a ton of them go 75, 90% off. But I just love how this looks in the evening. All right, and walking along here to my little buffet area, I'm gonna go ahead and start at the top. Um, we kept some of the original items that I keep up here all the time, but I did get this awesome Give Thanks picture. I love the white wood effect to it. This was from Hobby Lobby, as well as these little white pumpkins. This one says grateful, and this one says blessed. These were also from Hobby Lobby. And then I just put a string of lights from the Target dollar spot. These were $3, but I love that it has the little green light here. It kind of adds a little bit of color and pop. Okay, then in the center here, I just have a couple of mishmash pieces. One tip that I do really wanna recommend is pretty much adorning anything with leaves will make it look fall. And it's super inexpensive to do, but it gives such a nice little effect. So a couple of things, this autumn blessing sign is from Hobby Lobby. I did create this masterpiece myself. These are um, floral um, arrangements from Dollar Tree, which I have to say, fall floral from Dollar Tree is the best. It's the best season to buy. They have the best color. It looks the best quality. This galvanized bucket I got on clearance, so always check your clearance sales for super cheap deals. Um, this is just my little coffee station here. And then this gather together, which has the pumpkin top. I love this. This is from Hobby Lobby as well. And this is just something I put together with a ton of extra items that I have. Now these pomegranate pieces, I love them and I think they'll be great for um, Christmas as well. They just give it a like chunkiness to it. Um, and I like the different tones like the stones and the yellow flowers and the um, reddish burgundy flowers. So it just adds a pop of color to this corner.
a nice cheap little centerpiece and um, it but it doesn't look cheap it looks very festive All right guys, and this is one of my very favorite pieces that I made this year. What I did was I wanted to do some kind of an entranceway piece that was cheap, affordable, but it didn't necessarily look cheap. So I grabbed one of these wood crates at Hobby Lobby. Again, Hobby Lobby always has their seasonal stuff 40% off, so stock up when they do. I filled it up with a little bit of straw and then I love the pumpkins that I picked out. Now this one particularly is a pick as you see there. Um, going with the picks sometimes saves you a little bit of money. So always check the different sections. I love the colors though with the green, the orange, and then the deeper orange red color. And then I just draped it with some leaves from Dollar Tree. These are the burlap leaves, I love them. And then I just attached the little welcome signs that we got from the Dollar Tree as well. And then with the help of some E6000, I attached one of these fall stakes to the back of the crate and I think it came out amazing. I ended up making two of these and I just love them. All right guys, so here is the living room. Here's that little home sweet home. Um, piece that I made again I love it so I'm gonna go ahead and show you my coffee table and what I did and one thing I like to do is have decorations that I can reuse season to season so check back for Christmas and see how I utilize almost all of these same things like the candle holders the tray different things so you're not spending as much out of pocket but this is a um, table runner that I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, everything in this tray except for the little pumpkins from Target were from Hobby Lobby. These candles are absolutely amazing and I love the little charms, the little leaves on there that they have. So I grabbed three of those. I also grabbed these three different size candle holders. Now these were in the Christmas section. I'm going to use them for Christmas but they look kind of farmhousey, rustic, so I'm gonna use them for fall as well. I grabbed this Be Thankful sign that I put in the middle, and then here are two of those pumpkins from Target, and I love this tray. This tray was in the Christmas section as well, so I will be using it for Christmas. And then on each side, I just put um, one of the pumpkins from Target Dollar Spot. They are $3 each, they're super cute. And then again, leaves mean everything for fall so I just adorned it with um, some leaves here as well and I think it looks really cute all right one thing that I need to get next year is a throw because this throw has to go and pillows this is the only pillow that I have it's the blessed pillow so those are on my things to get next year again do everything you know as it fits for the budget you don't have to do everything one year just build everything up each year and what I have here is this home that I have on my wall. Now, normally that wreath is just plain old green, but I love it because it's multifunctional. I can use it for fall. What I did, that is a strand of leaves from the Dollar Tree. And those are two packages of the pumpkins with the little clips. You can actually see them on the side from Dollar Tree. So to decorate that for fall, that cost a whole $3. Really excited because you'll see it decorated in uh, at Christmas time too.
particular wreath I got Christmas for 90% off. It was $17.99 at Target, it was $1.79. I grabbed two of them. I love it, it's just simple. You can decorate it if you want to. I am not going to be decorating it. I'm gonna keep it the same way that it is. It's on a timer, so um, in the evening, it's just nice to see this at night. It kind of gives this little wall decor piece a little pop as well. All right guys, so here is just another end table with a couple of fall pieces. Of course, I love my candles. This is a pumpkin cinnamon roll. That's a cobblestone candle. These are very, good you can find these at Kirkland's and if you're interested what I'll do guys is I'll post any of the links direct links to the pro products you can check them out um, and then we have this M here that we had um, I think we got this last year it does light up so stay tuned at the end again and then this little piece that I also got from Kirkland's one of my favorite things for fall are my essential oil diffusers and I was never an essential oil person till probably the past three years I've really just sensed in the house um, it's really helped I I don't know if any of you out there suffer from anxiety I mean just stress in itself everyday stress these really um, help me a lot certain scents do especially in the fall I do like clove I like orange citrus burst is a great one for energy and feeling good cinnamon eucalyptus rosemary those are all great fall scents and if you guys would like to see a video on some of my favorite essential oil blends definitely let me know it's one thing that has truly honestly helped me with my anxiety and my stress it really it is one thing that i do i i have a lot of other little tips so if that's something that you're suffering from or that you would like a little bit more help on i can just share what i do it may help it may not help but um just let me know all right so in our bathroom we just kept it simple here is a hello fall i got a couple of sets of these this is the same one that is in the kitchen and then i made another arrangement I have two of these so you saw one in the kitchen and I like it in this little corner spot in the bathroom two of these pumpkins these are both Dollar Tree pumpkins I have a really cute little harvest sign from Hobby Lobby and then I have a couple of the succulents here these are from the Target dollar spot these were a dollar the stand here is from the Dollar Tree and then this one was $3 from the Target dollar spot. And then here in this little nook, I have um, a hand soap bottle that I've been using for the past few years. Once you buy one of these, just keep it, clean it out really good. You can refill it each season and it makes a nice little cheap decor piece. If you don't have one, what I like to do is use like an orange hand soap or a red hand soap that's festive for the season. I have this cute little gift, thanks. And then these items here are from the Target Dollar Spot, the Dollar Pumpkins, and you could use this holder for soap or anything that you'd like. And here we have another Hello Fall towel. And then this arrangement I did end up getting at Walmart. I really like it. It's simple. It's perfect for this space. I don't have to worry about the kids knocking it down or breaking it because it's not glass or anything. And I like the height that these give and the dimension and the color. And if you want your house to smell absolutely amazing, try these cobblestone sprays. Now they are at Kirkland's. They retail, let me turn it around, I think for $2.99 each, but they always have them 20% off or if you have a Kirkland's um, coupon, a lot of times they'll have like a 30% off coupon um, if you sign up with their rewards. So these smell amazing. This is the Harvest Festival. This is a new one that I tried this year and I really like it. But my absolute go-to scent is the pumpkin spice. You do not need a lot. You don't have to like spray a ton because it's pretty strong. A very light spray of these goes a long way and $2.99 is a great price. All right, so here comes the fun and spooky part of the video. So my kids, you can see, super, super sweet, are young. They enjoy Halloween and I enjoy decorating for them. And they're at that age right now where they like the fun stuff, but they also like the scary stuff too. 
So this is just a little picture collage going down to our um, other living room where we always hang out. So I wanted to keep this the Halloween area to keep it fun whenever we're watching a movie. And a really cheap thing to do is to get these webs and just decorate them everywhere. After Halloween, you can get them for 90% off. They're like 10 cents a bag. Now, all of the webs that you'll see in this video was like a third of a bag. I'm not kidding you. They go so far if you stretch them out. So I have a Dollar Tree spider right here. And then I just have one of those Dollar Tree ghosts here as well. And then here is our lower downstairs bathroom. So these skeletons I got at CVS last year, they were $3.99, but they were 90% off, so they were 39 cents. I thought it was cute, a different way to just have them hanging from the shower, you know, just something different. And then like I said, those webs, put them everywhere. Here I just put them on these little pictures that we have. And then I just attached a little bug there to kind of make it look a little spooky. All right guys, and then here is the vanity. Everything is pretty much Dollar Tree. Now I did this DIY last year. You will not believe how many compliments I got on this spooky vase. Everybody loves it. It's super cheap to make. I will insert the video at the end of this one. Check it out if you wanna make one this year. Then I just had one of these little pumpkins. I filled it up with some potpourri which was from the Dollar Tree, it's pretty good. This is just a reusable um, hand soap dispenser that I've been using for the past few years. This little sign was from Dollar Tree as well, and this little cat. All right, and again, I just put some more spider webs, and I took one of these um, spider webs from Dollar Tree, and I just literally hooked it on to the end. I didn't wanna hammer in a hole in the wall for it or in the picture, so just adds, I like the purple, it adds a little bit of color. And let me tell you, fall is the season for amazing scents. So what I did was I just took this Happy Halloween bucket that I got at CVS, 90%, and I filled it with some more of those um, uh, pine cones, and then there's some sticks, but these are scented in the um, uh, pumpkin scent, and these were from Hobby Lobby, amazing. It smells so good in here i wish you guys could smell it and then i just threw in a couple of pumpkins darker pumpkins just because this it's halloween so a black pumpkin and then this is a burlap pumpkin from dollar tree so again guys thank you so much for watching and i hope you all have an amazing fall take care